Hey, so you want to learn how to break out of the pentatonics, huh? Well, everybody talks to you about the chord tones, right? So, let's start there. We're just going to play, think like a piano, where we're going to play right along a line of notes. Stay in A. And we're just going to do chord tones along the G string. So A, C sharp, and E. Three notes. Alright, back to the beginning. Alright, so let's say we just take those and we start adding something to it. This one will be a hell of a bend. Right? Or. No way can I do this. <laughs> okay? You get the idea though. Okay? So those are chord tones. I mean, they're. They're always there. Real melodic on the chord. Okay, so the next thing is is to um, to play a lot of the country blues stuff or what we might call jump blues, swing blues, I mean jazz blues. Let's think of it as a major sound. So we're going to play A major pentatonic. Alright, so we have A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp, A, B, C sharp, E. John Mayer uh, changed the world or love to change the world or whatever that's wait, waiting for the world to change I think not quite it but get the idea okay so let's start seeing how we get more out of that one little scale and all we're going to do is we're going to try to use every note except really A sharp or B flat. And that's why right there. Okay, so take A. So to get from this B to C sharp, we could use a C in between. Smith draw the line I think. Wow. Been 25 years since I played that one. Okay, so now from here we gotta go from C sharp to E. We'll just take each chromatic note in between. And to get from E to F sharp, get from F sharp to A back at the beginning. You can start seeing some rhythm in there. Okay, it reminds me of something like, um, I believe it's Blue Monk, uh, and I'll play it in A. Uh, it's just going to be a regular old blues tune. Something like that, okay, but you got those chromatic, that's this right here, right, okay, so now what happens
happens is you want to build a melody or a theme which when we think of scales we think of linearly one note after another okay it doesn't have to quite be like that um don't any of the time you hit one of those chord tones don't be afraid to hang on it sharp in there too or B because those are in my scale. Okay so you start building some lines out of that. It's not the greatest line but um, so what happens as, a, as with a guitar is we don't always have to think of it as a piano would in one line. We can think of it bunched on top of each other. Um, in one physical location. So what if I take this and I then I take this line and I move this line to the B string. Now I have something that gives me something like scale. I try to play it real straight there, but what if I take these notes across the strings individually like all I did there was I took this and I took this and I played them together. Okay, let's see how that sounds in like a let's think of something like hey good looking. So just out of that simple idea, now all of a sudden I got something that's moving, as long as I move it with the chord. Okay. Those notes right there are... Um, and that I had up here. took and instead of doing it individually I took this last little uh, shape and bent it to this okay so all those so let's think of this in a blues text context now a D, A. 
Now let's think of it as the scale instead of the two note thing. Now that we have that sound moving. all kinds of different stuff out of. Okay, move one step further. Double stops. A lot of people learn this out of A. Okay. It's so many songs from uh, a lot of Led Zeppelin, a lot of folk rock, Van Morrison, all kinds of different stuff. But to get this thing to sound like a jump blues or a country we'll tune, we'll throw, throw that little chromatic step in there. And it sounds real, I'm so lonesome I could cry, kind of, right? Where do I get that? I get that from the same spot I had everything else. I have this from that line, but then up here on this one I have, which is nothing more than the octave of this, right? A little out of tune. Um, so, let's go back to, um, is it so lonesome I could cry? moving that for A to B to E A alright so but let's just think of it as that little little lick that comes right out of our is to add these two notes into that go okay so the other thing is why don't I just take this out of this line why don't I just take this and make a scale out of it all right I'm going to take that for A for B and for E I'm going to try to <laughs> So now I just took my chord tones, my major pentatonic, and those little connecting half steps and turned them into little chord forms, double stops, single note riffs, I mean just whatever you can pull out of it, but then I changed it per chord. That's the big thing. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea how that style of plan goes. It's, it's it's difficult when you throw it all together. As you can see, I love stumbling through it myself, but um, the mechanics of it are pretty simple. It's just that phrasing, keeping that thing trying to move ahead. All right?